ever have your Keurig software again? I'll show you how to fix it fast. Now it's pretty consistent with cleaning our Keurig Duo with vinegar at least once a week. We know if we don't do that, the pipes will clog up with calcium. And especially in our neighborhood, we've got a very hard water table here. So anytime I pushed either the ounce button or the cups button and pressed the 12, I would get half a cup of coffee from the ounce or half a craft full of coffee from the cups one. So there obviously is a problem, it's not getting water. And I'll show you what you have to do to fix it. On the bottom of the water reservoir, we've got a little nozzle right here. And inside of that nozzle, you can see some springs. Gently take a pair of scissors and just push it down a few times, just to make sure that that's not the reason why there's no water getting through. Now take your trusty turkey baster, fill it with a little bit of water, squirt it right into that base right there, all three sides. By doing this, it's going to release some of the calcium buildup that has occurred inside the machine with a hard jet of water. I don't know if you can see that right now or not, but there are a few little particles floating around in the water right now, just for me doing this. Let's give it a whirl and see what it does. Oh, we got about a 12 ounce cup of coffee there. We got a full pot of water. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you again next time on Melanie Ann Home Life.